Why Dog Day Afternoon? A film I've always loved, a film that has characteriz characterizations that we don't often see, um, and a film by one of my favorite directors, um, Sidney Lumet, I first became acutely aware of through a book that he wrote called Making Movies. And when I was first getting started and trying to make my way through this filmmaking thing without having gone to film school, I read that book. And that book was like a Bible to me. It still is. It's dog-eared. I have three copies of them. I give them to people all the time. Oh, wow. um, it's just a beautiful, beautiful book. As him talking about his process in making each of his films. And as I read it, I was like, wow, I've seen The Wiz. I've seen this. I've seen The Bob Rooker. I've seen these films. Um, not knowing that they were all this very versatile filmmaker um, who worked um, in the way that I want to work consistently, challenged himself, different genres, and until he was um, an old, an old yeah, man. Yeah, well, um, well, I, well into his life. Yeah. I, I want to be making films calling Action and Cut with Mike Kane. Yeah, I'm I just going to say this, I think and they'll know. I think it's pretty clear that Sidney Lumet stopped making movies because he died. Because, yeah, I mean, right, really, yeah. I mean... And, you know, you look, at, you look at the great filmmakers who refuse to let age stop them from doing it. You know, you wish there were more women, more people of color in that group. But, you know, I do tip my hat to, you know, to, to someone like Sidney Lumet who just kept going. And great stuff. It's a beautiful thing. So anyway, that's one of the reasons why I love the film, because I love him. Um, but also this film is queer cinema. Yeah. And it uh, is not often regarded in that canon. I think when people talk about the film, they talk about the robbery, they talk about Lumet, but they're Attica, not Attica. Attica. They're right. talking about, you know, a, a gritty New York story. Um, there's a lot of politics within it. There's a lot going on. But also, the heart of this story That's right. is a relationship that is, is so rarely seen at this time and rendered in a way that's loving, that's complex, that's almost startling in the middle of it you realize oh wait is this right is this what i think it is is, is this that, what right? i think it is yeah and so for that reason i think the film was extraordinary because it's doing things narratively and with characterizations that were rarely seen still to this day yeah and you know uh, treated as just another thread in the tapestry of this picture and this just for me it takes the film to a whole nother level the respect for that relationship and that storyline which could have easily been tossed aside or easily changed um, but really embraced and done so well. Uh, there's a conversation in the movie between Al Pacino and Chris Sarandon, who plays uh, the trans woman mm -hmm. who Pacino had married as mm -hmm. best you could in 1975, and, and they have this wonderful phone conversation mm -hmm. um, uh, from while well, Pacino's in the bank, apparently almost entirely improvised. I mean, that's, yeah. well, the under, magic. I'm sure under the direction of Sure, of, of sure, Matt. sure. Um, but yeah, I mean, you're watching Pacino. I, I just think, I mean, love Pacino, so many performances, but, you know, people always will talk about Scarface, they'll talk about Godfather. I mean, we're talking about premiere performances, but for me, I always say, what about Dog Day? Yeah, I agree. You gotta look at this thing. It's, it's, uh, it's peak Pacino. Go back there, man! Get away! Whatever. He wants to kill me so bad, he can taste it! Oh, God, what's oh, going to kill me? But the movie, in addition to being this uh, queer story, is also so many things, you know? I mean, it's also a, an action movie and a heist movie and, and a New York movie, the, right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. All, all of this. It's, it's so much is included in so this. So much. And the mastery of, of Lamette is it all feels real and like one thing. It's, it's tense, um, and yet there's these pops of freedom and joy and sure. odd levity within it that is just tonal a tonal triumph you know um hard to maintain and keep all those plates spinning but he's a master yeah ava great stuff thanks very much here's the movie released by warner brothers in 1975 al pacino in sydney lamette's dog day afternoon